Yes, 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 yes. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, one. Hello, all. Happy New Year. First, first video of the year, I think. Well, video like this, yes. Yeah, so Happy New Year to all. Father Chalky, Simple Teams Audio, doing what we do at the weekend. Just going to wait for a couple of people to come in. Big up Mellow, how you doing today? Everything nice. Just going to wait for a couple of people to come in. Want to have a little tech chat, as they say, you know what I mean? Make things nice and what have you. Big up all those um, who I put a little post in our group the other day in the sound systems machines view and chat group and uh, put up a little post for all those men who are sound system owners and um, had a big response had a lot of response from that so um, yeah big up yourself each and every time for that all the sounds across the globe over had over 150 different sounds from across the globe posting pictures doing their team showing me their team so yeah was was nice so thank you very much to all those who posted and joined in big up yourselves each and every time just shows that um south system across the globe is still alive and kicking which is wicked, which is what I like to see, which is what I like to see for true. Um, anybody else about anybody else watching? This is how we like it. We're going to have a little piece of a tech chat. Talk about a few things, you know, not just, you know, those who want to get involved and what have you, you know, sound system from back then to up now. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'd like some people to join in so that we can teach each other basically because i don't know everything at all yeah and i don't believe everybody anybody knows everything at all so as we go along i'm going to ask a few questions i'm going to you know state a few facts a few fictions so to speak and um, <laughs> you know you could teach me i could teach you we could go along big up charlie brown um next couple of hours i want to ring you because i've got to chat to you about the box so big up yourself there another man who's very intellectual in sound system and mr mellow studio is yourself intellectual right there as well so that's how we how we like to do it so um i'm just today gonna have a, a little sound check sound tech chat basically about things from you know over what's happening with sound system over the last 15 20 years 10 years blah 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 because a lot of changes that i've i'm seeing and i've had to teach myself in the last 10 years at least you know with with different things changing the way things are so i mean as 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 always you know depends on what application you have depends on what what you do big, big up brian hope you're good each and every time uh it depends on what you do what applications you do whether you're inside whether you're outside whether you have big set whether you have little set so um let me turn this off and there we go, so we don't get no interruptions. <laughs> right, okay, so it all depends on your applications, what you do, whether you work with bands, singers, whether you just DJ. Now, over the last, what, 20, let's say go back to 2000, yeah, and coming forward, there's uh, been a lot of changes, and um, I'm not a PA man, I'm a SAP sound man although you know i've run bands and, and singers through the systems and things but my mine is mainly with djs but you know there's a lot of aspects and changes to the sound system game now and i've, I've got a couple of questions I, I, I i'd like to ask people as well you know there's there's old versus new you know standard big old amps which have now changed to as a lot of people know one new lightweight amps or two new lightweight amps you know you've got a lot of smps topology 
<laughs> and, and, and nymphing there. You know what I mean? Compared to the old iron school heavyweight 30, 40 K amps, you know, so things are changing now. You, the class A, B amps in comparison now with the class D amps. Some men say that a class A, B amp will always walk over a class D amp. But then again, there are plenty very, very good class D amps out there that can do the job very well. So, you know, until you take an amp and test it for what you need to do, you know, you can't really, you know, th th there were some full amps from back in the day and there's still there's some crowns, you know, some crests, you know, them kind, them kind of amps. And, and now they don't have the power for the drivers at another subject, which are produced these days, but they're still boom amps all the same way. As I said, it depends on the applications you're using and what you're after these days, you know. So, you know, depending on who you are, really, and depending on what you're after, it that will depend on what you're going to pick to use. You know, whether you want it to run, say, an application, whether you want it to be in a studio or whether it's in a club or whether you're using that personally and taking it out. It all depends on what you want to use. There's a, there's a big variation these days. Class D, Class H, Class AB, Class DAB. There's, there's a lot of variations to look for. So, you know... That's something we'll chat about singly. Now, the, me personally, these days, I find that there's a lot more science. Now, there's a man who's probably watching at the moment, Charlie, but to me, there's a lot more science seems to be involved in sound system. Now, that doesn't mean that the science was not used back in the day. If you was a box builder or, or, you know, a proper box builder back in the day or, or an amp engineer and where, 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 you would know back in the day a lot more about the science. Because back in the day, for, for, for us who knew the general stuff, it was just knocking up boxes, putting in whatever drivers, you know, getting whatever amps to play them boxes. You know, whether it was enough or too much, whatever. You know, you just put it together to and, and, and make it sound your way. You know, you get, get your signal chain and make it sound your way. Now, these days, as I've, as I've found a lot in the last, what, 10 years, there's, there's a lot more science involved in sound system. Now... You know, as you can see, there's a lot more digital technology taken over. You have speaker management, which can now be run from laptop from mileage and distance away and, and then sort of things. Yeah. And but you still have your mixers, your preamps and, you know, which are being used by the, the passive analog lovers, such as myself. And we still use the EQs. We still use the crossovers, you know, not saying, but. You know, we we use them manually with knobs, so to speak. And and a speaker management, you just punch in what you like, you just leave it there. So there's the two comparisons, you know, depending on how you like your signal chain. Again, you know, I, I'm a man, I like a tower. So for me, rather than play with a speaker management, which also can be added to the tower, I suppose, but rather than play with, one of them in my set personally I, I I prefer to have everything in front of me so I can fiddle and twist you know but again that's an individual's choice you know you could be doing a lot of PA work so maybe the digital thing suits you better so you can walk around with that tablet and rare 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 and do them things or you could be an original sound man from back in the 70s 80s who just you know you're used to that. You like playing that way. So that's how you go forward. So therefore, there's no re reason for A to cuss B or B to cuss A. You know, it is, it is a personal preference. Now, with 
that bit of science, which is to me, I'm seeing a lot more involved, you know, boxes, uh, speaker boxes, speaker drivers, amplifiers, okay, I've taught myself quite, quite a bit, you know, and um, there seems to be, you know, a, a lot more science in involved in the sound system thing these days. What what you have now is like, you know, back in the day, man and man used to, you know, bill our box, flinging a driver. Yeah, the driver sound all right. Yeah, just leave the driver there. These days, I've, I've noticed that, you know, cer certain men, certain people are, are saying, well, you can't put this driver in this type of box because, the, you know, as, as you know, there's a lot of different box designs. You have your ported, you have your reflex, you have your scoop, you have your paraflex. You have, you have all kind of design of boxes these days, yeah? And, you know, like I said, back in the day, a man would just make a wardrobe box or a double box or whatever and just plonk a drive. But now you have to look at what they call the, um, the small feel. <laughs> the parameters of the speaker drivers to make sure that that driver will work in that box without blurring the driver or without the driver sounding a certain way can be technical now <laughs> and if you get it wrong it can be expensive you know so you know a, it t to me it seems like a lot more homework you have to do in sound system you know to make sure that you know you get it correct and you're not wasting mum and and stuff like that which which in what which in a way is good because it does now make your sound massive have to you know do a bit more studying and understanding so that they know what they're doing which which you know in at the end of the day is it is a good thing to do, yeah? Now, as we're talking about speakers and such and such, yeah? How about stacking speakers and box placement as well? Another thing which has, you know, come out about, you know, how you can get more dBs from a certain stack, how you can get them to drop lower, and blah 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 now these things have been around for a, quite a few years for, for those in the know but I'm you know back in the 80s I didn't know if you put four speakers together bass speakers together yeah, it would stay it would drop lower you know them, them kind of thing I didn't think on them levels you know what I mean like a lot of that so you know it's good to look about and study and ask questions, little things like that, and ask questions, you know, if you need to ask questions to find out, because there's some good groups out there, and there's some good mans out there who will help you. But what I'm going to say is, and this goes out, and I'm going to say this, this is coming from my mouth, yeah? This goes out to those gentlemen, right, who are out there, and I'm going to say it, yeah, and who are going on like they're haters, and they're, they're in the industry. Yeah. If a man asks you a question and the man seriously seems like he needs that bit of help, if you don't want to help him, scroll past. Don't put up stupidness yeah, to make a man feel low when all the man is trying to do is try a little something and step forward. You know? We help each other, we're all in the same boat, we're all, we're, we're all in the same industry, we help each other. That's how we should do it, okay? Right, enough about that. Let's talk about signal processing. Nah, nah, this is this is one of my favourite sides of sound system, yeah, is signal processing, yeah? Now, as I said, these days you have a lot of people who just, you know, a couple of speaker managements to just do their fine tuning, delays, um, this and that, you know, the delays there, the EQs there, the crossovers there, practically everything that you will need, you know, 
and uh, you're limited to there. You know, everything that you're going to need is basically in that one new unit. So you would go in the, in the unit, whether you do it via laptop or whether you do it via the screen and the wheel, and you would go in there and set all your settings, and then you'd have a mixer on top of that, and virtually operate everything from there. Now, whether that's, you know, analog mixer, digital mixer, is irrelevant. That's where you would operate it from. Now, signal path, to me, is this, this is a very, very important part of sound system, just for the simple reason that you could have the most expensive set on the market with the best amplifiers on the market, right? But if your signal chain isn't correct, right, that whole system is going to sound lame, okay? It's going to sound lame, no matter what kind of speaker management you have, yeah? If you put in the wrong digit yeah, and then run it wrong from the mixer, the whole stack, hundred thousand pound stack's gonna sound rubbish. Yeah, that's why me I concentrate a lot on my signal chain. That's something I do with my EQs, with my crossovers, with my, you know, with, with certain delays on stacks and blah blah blah. But you know, I haven't got them. I haven't got a huge sound system, so when it comes to them sort of things, I don't have to worry too much although you know here and there i might have to worry about delay but you know it, that's that's more time for those with the bigger stacks and the bigger audiences that you would have to worry about these sort of things but it's good to know and good to teach yourself about them things you know just in case you need to step forward and you know go go out there and do this and do that and you need to use a bigger set it's, it's good to know about delays and limiters and phase issues and blah 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 you know but I've, I've been in dance myself where certain man set has had a, has had problems yeah and you can hear it and you know I'll, I'll go and say to a man look blah 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 just being nice you know what I mean but certain man don't want to hear nothing so you have to be very careful, but it's, it's good to teach yourself about these little things, yeah, you know, and, and, and just take that on board, but like I said, the haters out there, if, you, if you're not going to help people, then just scroll on by, don't run them down, just scroll on by, because there's enough people out there who, who truly want to learn, yeah, myself included, because there's enough man out there who's thousands and thousands and thousands of men across the globe who've got much more knowledge in this game than myself, yeah? But me personally, I'll, I'll, I'll share my knowledge, what I know, which is limited, yeah, in the game with others who don't know as much as I know, which is, which is a, you know, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, sharing is caring, we help each other, simple as that. Now, I've got, one thing I wanted to get into for true, all right? One thing that, you know, I look around these days and, um, you know, I see a, a lot of power, yeah? I see a lot of power in a lot of amplifiers, yeah? I see speaker drivers that can take a lot of power, yeah? Now, I'm thinking to myself, yeah? You know, yeah, fair enough, these days, amplifiers, power drivers, speaker boxes, you know, as the years go by, all get upgraded, all, all, all get updated, all get upgraded, right? I've got a question, yeah, and this is bugging me, so, you know, maybe I can get some answers for this, yeah. Let's say... Brixton, right, I'm in the UK, for all those who are out of the UK, yeah, we, we, we have a place in London called Brixton, yeah, and um, let's say Brixton Town Hall, okay, we'll say Brixton Town Hall, now, Brixton Town Hall has been standing in the same place, yeah, 
for wow how many years how many decades yeah, longer than me okay so it's, it, 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 it's been there what, 60 70 80 years I think something like that it's been there a long time okay now back in the day in the 70s and 80s right you used to have dances in Brixton Town Hall now Brixton Town Hall externally and internally now looks different to what Brixton Town Hall was but and I'm gonna say this 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 is what makes this work structurally the venue is more or less the same there's no extra bricks being put there there's no extra ceiling being put there structurally the venue is still the same as it was 50 years ago okay now back in the day you used to have different sounds go into Brixton Town Hall with double boxes quad boxes blah 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 and and weaker amps 500 watt amps thousand watt amps okay whether they whether they was valve amps transfer amps they was just going in with them and different stacks of boxes now and sounds would go in and shake up and i'm saying shake up that venue with much smaller amps and not as efficient drivers or efficient boxes but shake up the venue okay now we step forward 50 years yeah sounds will go <laughs> this is what makes me smile the structure is still the same it looks a lot prettier but the structure is still the same sounds will now go into brixton town hall with six eight bass beams yeah four or six amplifiers each each amplifier being minimum of five to six thousand watts minimum yeah and drivers in the bass bins being what 1500 12 to 1500 watts and shake up the building now in comparison <laughs> to the 50s you're talking a whole heap more power a whole heap more power but yet in the 50s they could shake up that same building with a whole less which just goes to show right if you know what you're doing and charlie brown i'm gonna give you credit because you know what i'm saying if you know what you're doing and how to do it you don't need that much power to shake up a place and to run your system nicely and trust me this is just my opinion okay this is just my opinion because there's thousands and tens and thousands of sounds with big power amps okay so this is this is just me talking yeah um you know i'm I'm not the biggest sound i'll never be the heavyweight sound rare tear 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 them kind of thing so this is just me as a sound man and as as a sound system owner this is just my opinion you know i've i've, I've seen a lot of people upgrade to some serious power amps and some serious drivers serious drivers but these days where are you gonna go to be able to unless you're outside unless you're doing things outside there's not many venues really in london included that you're going to get to go and shake up with them that kind of thing i saw some lovely absolutely lovely looking systems and boxes on that post in our group the other day of you know from from all over the world of all types of systems and all types of boxes and all types of drivers some lovely systems my my thing being over here over here in the uk you know it's good to have them but what what what, what are you going to do with them where are you going to take them and, and play them that, that and this is my reason for building my personal reason for building two uh three systems basically two working systems yeah 
and one loving system. I can understand for the sound system lovers that you have that stack of your own and you have that there and you would treasure having that stack. Yeah. For the businessman, yeah, or for those getting in the business, I don't see the sense in building a huge thing unless you, you're looking to cover how many venues really and you have that link to do that and you're and you're stepping in that direction and if so carry on and keep doing it yeah but for those just coming in which i'm seeing a lot of people you know you're just starting to build system and things i think for the time being i would not advise anyone in looking the way things is in my country at the moment in looking and starting with a nice four base me I'm, I'm i'm still with my my two two ligra mini yeah which i'll add another one and make a diamond stack <laughs> but you know i think a nice four base with four nice drivers and decent decent amps is, is where you go and and then if you want to expand from there and you get the work that, that that's that's good you know i'm seeing a lot more bands coming into things as well so all those you know sound owners you know I'm, I'm getting bookings with bands myself and you to the sound owners that you know not just the system things but you have to make sure that we are able to tune these bands to our system so our system is is variable to play as well as music to entertain the band massives and, and and them kind of things you know what i mean which is another reason why i built a certain system so i know that system can go and cover bands and go and cover singers and rare tear tear and play all them nice notes that they want to hear you know there's a lot of things in the sound system thing at the moment going on at the moment which you know sit down and think about and take your two pence worth you know what i mean them kind of tea um i think barring all that it was just a quick chat you know and um if you have any question if you have any questions for me you know just ask me the questions i got if i can help i'll help if you want to give me some information it's always taken on board all the time yeah, I, I, I look, I read, I test, I learn. Yeah, that's why people send me amps, send me equipment, rare tear tear. It's because this is something I enjoy doing. This is something, you know, means a lot to me for people to, you know, know the right thing and just, you know, study a little. And, and to be honest, and I'm going to be totally honest, sound system these days is not a difficult thing. Yeah. It can only be difficult if you deep start digging deep, deep, deep. <laughs> and then it could get really technical. Yeah? But in general, to build yourself a sound and make yourself a nice sound and think it's, it's, it's not a difficult thing to do these days. Yeah? You can make it difficult. If you, you know, once you start learning everything, you can make it difficult. Yeah, I mean, boy, when, when, when I string up, I, I, I never string up the same way twice. <laughs> I'm one of them bad. I always put different things and different paths a different way. You know, it's, 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 it's just been a habit of mine for, for years now. But, you know, in general, sound system is a very good thing to get into. It is a very entertaining thing, very pleasing, and it can be a simple thing. Okay? So I'm just putting out this video there just to, you know, a bit of a chat between me and you and to say big up to all those in sound entertainment and, you know, who who's just coming into it. Yeah. And as I said, any questions, you just ask me any information that I've missed. You just tell me and we take it all on board and we do it all together. That's the end of that. Listen, we'll catch up. Have a good weekend and whatever you do, look after one another. Love is the answer. Simple Things Audio, gone again.